Hi there boys and girls. I decided to read today's story out in my backyard. It is such a pretty day. The sky is so blue right now. I can hear the birds singing in the trees. It is just a beautiful day. Well, I didn't have any books at my house about silly hair. And so I thought, where else could I find a book that I don't have it, but that I would like? And I thought, oh, the library. So my daughter-in-law is a librarian. She works in the library and helps people find books. And so she helped me find a perfect book about silly hair. And you can always tell a library book when you see it because there's a special number and a code on, this, on the spine of the book and a letter. And that is so when I take this back to the library, they can put it on the shelf in a special place and then when somebody else wants to borrow a book about silly hair, they'll be able to find it easily. Well, this book is called Maxwell the Monkey Barber, and it's by Kale Atkinson. And Kale Atkinson wrote the story and drew the pictures in the story. He did both. So let's see what we see when we look at the cover of this book. So I see this lion and look at all his hair. He definitely has crazy hair, doesn't he? I see leaves and even some bugs in his hair. And what's up here at the top? It's a little monkey, isn't it? And he's got some scissors. So he's a barber and a barber is a name for somebody whose job it is to cut people's hair. He had special training so he'd know how to cut people's hair a special way. So let's see what happens in this story. Come to Maxwell's Barber Shop for a trim or for a chop. Barber Shop rhymes with chop. I heard a rhyming word. Let's listen and see if we hear any more. And here you can see his barber shop. It looks like it's in a tree. It's got a little door in the trunk of the tree. And there's Maxwell up there. He grabbed his scissors and lowered the chair, ready at nine to cut some hair. So I guess he opens at nine o'clock. He's all ready. Baboon swung in with Curls grown high, a cut to free what lives inside. So there's Baboon. He doesn't look very happy right now, but look at all that curly hair he's got. And there's even animals living in his hair. Oh my goodness. After many snips, it's less a home and more a place to run a comb. Home and comb rhyme. So let's see now what's happened. So here was Baboon before, and now look after. He just has a nice, neat little haircut, and all of his friends are not on top of his head anymore. <laughs> but look at the ground. There's a lot of hair left over in there. And before you go, might I say, your hair's the best I've seen today. <laughs> Lion crept in with mane gone wild. Please clip this piece to show my style. So there's Lion again. That's who we saw on the cover. And so Maxwell's trying to figure out what to do first. What's he doing first? He's raking it out. <laughs> He's got his rake to get some of those leaves and stuff out before he gets started. That beastly mane has said goodbye. It's now so sharp it needs a tie. So look, he got he feels so handsome now he put on his tie. <laughs> and look how proud Maxwell is of how good a job he did. <laughs> and before you go, might I say, your hair's the best I've seen today. So Maxwell said the same thing to Lion that he said to Baboon. 
you have the best hair. <laughs> now look at all that hair on the floor. Now I don't know if you all have ever gone to get your hair cut or gone with your grown up when they got theirs cut, but there is hair on the floor after a haircut. Not this much hair. I've never seen this much hair. But sometimes the people will come out with their little broom and sweep all the hair up like Maxwell's doing. Bear lumbered in with a big furry frown. A trim before I laughed from town. So look at Bear. He's so sad. He's got all this long beard and he's embarrassed. He's afraid people are going to start laughing at him because his is such a mess. Do you think Maxwell can fix it? Let's see. The fur is gone within a flash. I've even trimmed your long mustache. So look at him now. Oh, and he's smiling. He's so happy. Oh no, and look at Maxwell. He's He's pretending his banana is a mustache. <laughs> and before you go, might I say, your hair's the best I've seen today. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at all this. It's getting more and more hair. Elephants slipped in, sad and down. My head so cold with no hairs found. Oh, so he's cold and sad. Look, he does look so sad. Does he have any hair on his head? He doesn't. Maxwell looked. Oh, he climbed up there. Maxwell looked and found it true. There were no hairs. Not one, not two. Come back tomorrow right at three. I'll think of something. Just wait and see. So Elephant came for some help. Maxwell thought, okay, he doesn't have any hair. What can I do? Maybe if I have him come back tomorrow. Let's see, I wonder what he'll do. What was Maxwell going to do? He thought, he thought, and then he knew. So he laid here and thought, got here and thought, scratched his head and he thought, and then, See. Elephant came back as Maxwell said and waiting right there for his head. Something fine crafted with care. A lovely wig of soft warm hair. Look at that wig that Maxwell made. Where do you think he got all that hair? Looks like some of it's from bamboo, some of it's from lions, some of it's from all the animals that have come in already and gotten a haircut. And before you go, might I say, your hair's the best I've seen today. <laughs> Look how happy Elephant is. He loves his new wig. Do you think his head's still cold? <laughs> I don't think so either. Everyone heard of elephants new do. In hair or no hair, they wanted one too. Come one, come all to Maxwell's shop for a wig or for a chop. So Maxwell's telling all the animals are coming back and he's telling them you can come into my shop you can get a wig if you want one, or you can get a chop, which he means like a little haircut. <laughs> and that's the end of our story. I love that book. That is a really fun book, and I'm so happy that my daughter-in-law helped me find it. So just remember, if there's ever something that you're looking for, a story that you don't have at your house, 
you might be able to find it at the library, and the librarians there are happy to help you look for it. Well, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hope you're having fun with some silly hair, <laughs> and I hope you get to enjoy some time outside. Take care, and I will see you back on Friday. Bye-bye.